Good morning, everybody. Today, we're going to show you a day in our lives here in Japan. So usually every morning, I start by myself. Martina usually sleeps an hour or two more than I do. And this is a chance for me to get a lot of the stuff done around the house that needs to be done before we get our day started. I'm not sure how Martina is going to be today because she had a really, really bad sleep last night. So good luck to you, girl. You're going to be probably editing this afterwards. Sorry you had such a rough sleep. Time to make you some coffee. This is such a strange sensation for me because I don't usually do any talking at this time of day. It's usually just me doing stuff automatically and just thinking things in my head. This is my coffee mug. We have six coffee mugs. You might have seen a bunch of them. This is the one that I always use in the morning. This is what I got from the Ghibli Museum. It's my favorite mug ever. And Martina today will get Hello Kitty. Martina usually likes milk in her coffee in the morning. I don't, I'll take mine black. Today is a workout day though. <gasps> Gotta put on some rice. Now, I don't know when Martina's going to drink that coffee. I don't know how long she's gonna sleep for, but I do know that when she wakes up, she does like the smell of coffee. So we have that there right uh, by her bed. So when she wakes up, she could get the day started off right. For me though, when I drink my coffee in the morning, I usually need one or two sips until I have to start the morning. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna turn off my mic and I'll be back in like 15 minutes. That wasn't 15 minutes, that was just two. I'm a very fast pooper, okay? Thanks, mom and dad, you raised me well. Ooh, the coffee started to work. I'm starting to feel ready with the coffee. Next on the list, I'm gonna start preparing our dinner for the day because we got a slow cooker. Slow cookers make easy, delicious food. I don't know why everybody doesn't have a slow cooker. Consider this your uh, cheap version of Simon's Midnight Munchies. These are, um, Simon's, uh, I need more coffee before I could think of a weird acronym. You just watch me make some food. So here are all the ingredients for my stew. I'm using some discount Aussie beef because we always buy discount food. What you think we like live rich and glamorous YouTuber lives? No, it's discount beef, but it's still pretty expensive. We got one carrot, we got two potatoes, we got a bunch of mushrooms, we got some onion in there, we got the Japanese curry. Zeppelin, I always thought it was Zeppelin. Well, learn something new every day. We got some rosemary, we got some Vegeta, we got some of this Italian spice thing that we had for a while. Now let's make it. Wait, I should be doing this like a Martina's Midnight Munchies. First thing you do is you unceremoniously peel a carrot, then you unceremoniously peel two potatoes. Take all the peelings and unceremoniously dump them into the garbage. Everything chop up very nice. Put unceremoniously into slow cooker. See, cooking isn't very difficult. Chop up some sh season it, put it in a slow cooker, and you're gonna make an impressive meal. You don't gotta be Gordon Ramsay to be able to impress the love of your life with some high quality cooking. What's next? I forgot. Beef. There are ways to ceremoniously dump things in and unceremoniously dump things in. But this has a lot of hot oil, so I want a little bit of ceremony so I don't unceremoniously burn myself with the oil. I'm not looking to fully cook this either. I'm just looking to get a sear on all the sides and then I'm gonna dump them in a slow cooker. The fatty cuts are really good for slow cookers. They really dissolve and give a nice creamy juiciness to the stew. Ah, oh, fuck! Stop burning my hands! I need gloves. Looks like we got a big bowl of meat. Take some rosemary and just 
jam those in there. This is some Italian seasoning. You know what? I find that you can't really ever like over herb a food. People are always so delicate. Ooh, just a little pinch of snow. Just... Still gonna be yummy. I've got to mention bay leaves. I hate finding these in my food afterwards, but they do give a good flavor to the stew. Uh, put one there, put one there, and one there. Oh, what's that? Oh, calm down, Simon. You're gonna over herb it. Said no one ever. Oh, oh, looks like the Prince Memers is here for breakfast as well. Ah, yeah. Oh, look at that food. Ah, yeah. Mushrooms from Japan. And maybe a bit more. These are little Japanese curry packs. What I like to do with these, because these are two packages, I'm gonna cook with only one, uh, but I'm not gonna put all of them in because then it would get too thick. So usually when I'm about to finish off the dish, is when I put this in when we're about ready to serve. Open these up. Huh? Let's see, huh, Japanese curry cube. Look inside, looks like a forbidden Rolo. Dare me to eat it? I don't care because I don't get pressured into there. So instructions just say dump them in. I don't do that because it's very difficult to break down. So I usually chop it up and then I put it in here and I pour a little bit of hot water on it so that I can make sure that it evenly dissolves. Memers, I'm gonna get your wet food in just a second, homie, all right? Just hold off for a bit and then you're gonna get your wet kibs. Pour that in here. Make sure like me, you get very nervous on camera and then spill half of it on the side right there. That makes for a very good meal. And just make sure you put on enough water to cover the meat. Pop that on here. Turn that to low and slow. And in like six or eight hours, you're going to have a delicious meal. It's gonna make the whole house smell just so tempting and warm and inviting throughout the entire day. Now that dinner is prepared, gotta feed the cat. Memers! Come on, boy. Get back up on that table. Oh, yeah. It's time for your urinary support. Oh, Memers. Let's see if this works. Oh. Yep, I've trained him to stand. There you go. Good boy. Here's a good boy. I know some people train their cats to do other things. I just make him stand. That's like the most activity he's gonna get all day. Good job, boy. <laughs> I always put on some rice in the morning. Just leave it on throughout the day. It's always nice to go back to whenever you want a meal. I'm gonna have some of this with the curry later on. I'm gonna have some of this for breakfast as well. Memers, for some reason, is so afraid of this. Don't know why I think he thinks of it as a hiss. Memers, did you finish your food? <gasps> Poor guy got scared. I'm sorry, Memers. Memers, don't be afraid. Come back and eat your food, homie. I should have waited. I forgot. Memers. Oh, well, that just breaks my heart. Memers, come on. Come back. Come back. Memers. Come here, Memers. Stop embarrassing me in front of my friends, Memers. Get back. Oh my god, you're so heavy. Please eat your breakfast. Okay, I guess. So for our last breakfast video, we didn't wash our rice and a lot of people scolded us for it. I still don't know why I'm supposed to wash my rice, but I do know that it prevents angry internet comments. So here I go washing my rice. I probably should have Googled why. One of the hard set rules we have in this house that you cannot disobey is as soon as you hear the rice cooking music go on you have to do a little bit of a dance not a huge one any kind of fist pumping is okay just you gotta make sure you gotta dance <laughs> we 
was our laundry hanging outside overnight. It's really dry now in Japan, so it's a good way for us to dry our clothing without wasting any electricity. I'm gonna put on another load of laundry. What happened last night? What a shit sleep. Why? I don't know, my SI, my hips are hurting, so like I couldn't get comfortable, and I dislocated my jaw. So now I sound all lispy, and like it's just not my voice. You don't sound super like all, girl. And a certain unnamed cat. We'll call him the doctor. Dr. M. No, Dr. wait, wait, wait. M, no. How too about obvious. Mr. Memer's worth? No. <laughs> no, that's too, too obvious. obvious. Mm. He was like, meow, 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 meow. Meow, meow, meow. Thanks for coffee. No problem, girl. Anything else I could get you? A new body made out of mechanical parts. I like your body just the way it is. I volunteered. Welcome to a day in the life of someone with chronic illness. Our day starts very slow. Those of you that might be dating or married to somebody who suffers from a chronic illness, you really need to accept that it takes us a very long time to get going. Looks like somebody came back to bed. Oh, you're such a beautiful kitty. I'm boring for my mom. She snuggled right into my arm and flopped down into it. Oh, what a cute kitty. Oh yeah. How do you feel about that, homie? What's that? You smell all that oil that I splattered on the lens? Now that Martina's awake, I could start playing some music around the house instead of singing a bizarre song to myself that I don't actually know where it's from. And for that, I'm going to head to probably my favorite YouTube channel ever. 24-7 lo-fi hip-hop radio smooth beats to sleep and study to play that shit. It's copywritten, so I can't play the whole song, but maybe I could play something different that you might like. Never really knew that she no. Not that. Anything but that. So what I'm making here isn't going to be the most appetizing thing. This is my tuna and egg salad. It's two cans of tuna, two almost hard boiled eggs. I want the inside yolks to be pretty goopy. What I usually do is I put them in water and as soon as they start boiling, I kill the heat and I let them sit there for six and a half minutes. And then they're still cooked, all the whites are cooked, but the yellows are still kind of really rich and runny. And then I'm gonna have this with rice. And it's not a fun meal. This isn't something that I'm trying to eat because, ooh, I'm just so into tuna. This is something I'm trying to eat for protein and get the rice for all the carbs I need for today's workout because today is squat day and I suck at squats, so I need all the help that I can get. We don't eat tremendous meals every single day. Some of it is sad tuna and egg salad. This isn't the dining room. This is the breakfast room. There is a formal dining room that's in. Oh, it's not the dining room. It's the breakfast room. While I eat breakfast, I like to look at videos of houses that I'll never be able to afford. Let's just be honest. Who could afford a house now anyways? Nobody. My ducky is finally downstairs. Hi ducky. Very important morning routine you cannot skip out on is a morning hug. Always have to have a morning hug. Come on ducky. I'm not ready. I'm gonna have like this so no one can see your swinging breasts. That's exactly what I was worried about. I'm blocked out, see? Don't worry. No. See, it's on my back. No, you need a morning Okay, Martina's gonna put on a bra and then we're gonna have a morning hug. in the world that I have to wear bras? Jerky. What? Put on a bra and let's hug. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go hug you in the other place so no one can see. Yes. Hide behind the wall. Morning hug. Come on. I gotta squat down because she's so small. Cool, sir. Okay. Oh, my girl. Hey, Ducky. You smell so nice. You smell like snuggles. Backwards? Oh. Oh, yeah. Gotta keep the morning hug going. Upstairs for snacks. Uh, what? No, not upstairs. Back to the bathroom we go. Get our day started. Ducky, no. Okay. Let's go back. No, no. Oh, yeah. Come on, sweet girl. He smells like a kitty. 
I'm eating tuna. I knew it. Tuna. Oh. This is why brushing your teeth is so important. The first thing I always do every morning before I even started this video was brush, floss, and mouthwash. Yes, you floss every single day. You must floss every single day. Brush your teeth. Uh, and after eating tuna, I gotta brush my teeth again. Waiting to put on my mic And that's okay for us to leave this in Cause it's the day in our life And the day in our life means We gotta put on microphones Like normal people living in a normal home Who mic each other up Let's We have see. very weird lives, Ducky We do have YouTubers, very, it's very, strange. very bizarre lives we Bizarre have. lives, guys Here you go Why don't you tell everyone about this terrible shirt <laughs> <laughs> You have insulted me thus My taste in music My daddy Yankee And now you insult my shirt thusly. Although, we're gonna be honest here, something has gone terribly wrong with my hairstyle today. Up top, I look like a princess. I'm like, I'm gonna go on a, to the prom, like look at me. And then I scan down this strange outfit, which is like made kind of tomboyish. And then I have this hair. It doesn't work at all, does it? No, and it's a good thing we're not going out today. You have insulted me, <laughs> Oh, my daddy Yankee, my Justin Bieber. I love everything about you, oh. except your taste in music and sometimes your clothing. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. 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 You're wearing a shirt that I made. I think somebody forgot that I'm the one editing this video, so guess what? It's gonna just be non-stop fart revenge. Making fun of my shirt and my daddy Yankee and my reggaeton. Well, that was a miserable book. I just finished reading Homo Deus after reading Homo Sapiens. I read this in Barcelona, I read this here. Both very interesting, thought-provoking books about our history, where we came from, and what our future might hold, especially in terms of AI. But I don't necessarily agree with all of it. He's very much into hard determinism. I'm not up to date with a lot of philosophy, but I thought it kind of went out of fashion. Um, back when I was studying in university at least. I know that the author talked about Steven Pinker and pretty much seems like he hates Steven Pinker uh, based on having the same information yet forming different conclusions. So I figured I'm gonna read this next and see if I could form a good side of both arguments because don't just read one side, read all sides if you can. <laughs> So in any professional studio setting, you want to make sure that when you plug in your audio recorder, you don't unplug your slow cooker, Right. Uh, that you have your curry on. Do people do podcasts with slow cookers in the background? I don't know. It's a very nice comforting smell as we record and talk about Kichijoji. <laughs> so this is our audio recorder. This has two cables that are attached to our mics. Uh, and it has our headphones here so we can listen to ourselves. I find when we listen to ourselves as we talk, then I have a much calmer voice, but without headphones on. I usually talk really excited like this and I don't know how to calm my voice down. To like a be puppy. A smoother speaker. Uh, so that records the audio. We synchronize that with the video here because this audio is never that good. And then we do a pod video and podcast for those of you that just want to listen. Nice advertising. Bam, bam. If you're wondering, that was an advertisement because we're advertising our, our podcast. podcast. And we don't have sponsors, so we're going to advertise using ourselves for free. For free! <laughs> hey, it's Simon. And this is Martina. And we're broadcasting out of Kichi Joji. Kichi Joji. The bombiest part of Japan. I wore a lot of BB cream yeah. before also, and I wasn't the only guy that does it. Lots of men. Yeah, most in men Korea. in Korea wear BB While cream. While in Canada, I don't know a single guy mm -hmm. that puts on any BB cream. Mm -hmm. I'm starting our import of everything that I did so far. It's gonna be a little bit of a while. Probably should have sneezed first. Let's talk editing. So a huge portion of my day goes into editing. I love editing. I really enjoy it. I feel like when you edit a video, it has a lot of your personality being put into it. Were you looking at my boobs? <laughs> whether it be through a funny fart joke or through echoes or through zoom-ins or music choices. You're fired, now film my kids. 
Music choices are extremely important to me and I have a huge library of songs that I've purchased, songs that I've made, songs that are from YouTube that I can download for free and I have them all organized um, very neatly according to what I like to use. I'm not gonna actually show you how I edit in like a boring fashion. I'll just do kind of like a run through. This is usually six to sometimes eight hours of my day. So even if I get a slow start uh, and I can't get out of bed, sometimes I'll edit in bed for, you know, five hours straight. Then I stand at the table when I edit and that's usually, you know, three hours. I have alarms that go off so I sit down and get up and move. Let me show you guys what my editing system is all about. So this was a pretty easy project. This is the Fugu video and we only had one camera angle to import which made it a lot easier. You can see all these things that are in aqua and blue are various sound effects that either I made like the screaming fugu fish is a huge fuging mistake. Everything at the bottom of Final Cut down here is actually audio tracks. I've got sound effects in between here. I've got more sound effects. So all these little things go into making it I think a special video. It takes an insane amount of time to go through the music. It's not like you sign up and suddenly the music is just there for you. I spend sometimes hours just looking for the right feeling of the song. And I have a massive catalog of music that I use. Anything under the YouTube category is free music from the YouTube library. And over here in the ZDS category is all music from Epidemic Sound. And that is a website for using royalty-free music. If you're a YouTuber, they have different price tiers based on how many subscribers you have. This is not an ad, this is just what we happen to use. I organize my music according to what I feel the vibe is rather than what it might actually be, which helps me access the correct music quickly. Except I fast forwarded this, okay? Never really knew that she could dance like this. She makes the man who wanna speak Spanish. Como se le da? Bonita. No. Not that. Shakira, Shakira. I know these songs like the back of my hand. I only need to hear the first tiny second of the song to know what the entire song is going to be like. I can picture the videos that they're coming from, if it's from the Ehime video or if it's from Baseball in Japan. Me, me. Me, me. You guys probably know a lot of these ones. These are so cute. It's the Creed the Playlist! As usual in... Playlist mode! You can see all the amount of sound effects that go in here. Okay, here we go. So it's really to me flow that you feel while you edit. It's not just about editing. I use a lot of different effects on the clip itself when it comes to editing. We can see that I've already dragged some of these on to the clip. So for example, if you pull this up and down, you can see the differences that it causes. This one might have multiple filters on top of it. It's got 16 millimeter film burn where I can change the midtones and the highlights, you know. So it's a lot more than just putting the clip together. I'm trying to create a feeling or an emotion through my editing. It's so peachy. So peachy. Like really, really peachy. Like, are those bubbles? Did bubbles just appear? Where do those bubbles, Where coming did bubbles from? come from? I can speak in a video and tell you what I'm feeling, but I can also use editing and music to express the emotion that I want to share with you guys. So if the midline is for main video editing and the bottom line is for sound effects, the top part is for adding things like text or pictures on top. You can see that with this Lucky Memers one. I have them kind of shaking back and forth. I had to hand paste each of these. So this is actually just a plain old photo. It's a picture of memers that used to be a sticker that we sold in Japan at some of our like special events. I went over here to rotation, rotated it slightly, copied and pasted it and did the opposite version. It's not actually animating it, but it seems like it's creating movement. Hey. So I hope this little look into editing life has given you a little glean into how much work uh, YouTubers tend to put into their videos. I'll say not all YouTubers. If you start watching videos, you'll be able to see which people are kind of sticking to one theme song at the bottom the whole time. So they're just kind of slapping on a track. I'm not looking down on it for people who don't put a lot of editing in. Some people just don't have that passion. But I do think that other people don't really make an effort to improve themselves. It's kind of like, well, it's always been this way, so I might as well just keep going. I like improving myself and seeing if I can push myself to be better. It helps me really enjoy the content that I'm putting out there for you guys. And I hope you guys can feel my personality come through when I edit a video. 
go crazy and have fun with music and sound effects. If you have stayed around, watch this video to the end. You may finally know the name of the song that everybody loves. Baby, when you move your body. Baby, when you move your body. Hope you enjoyed my little tutorial. Teach your Martina out. Ow, I'm gonna go get some ice for my shoulder. now time for me to start my workout. I work out outside uh, in my backyard. Regardless of the weather, today it's kind of cold so I gotta wear a sweater. Can't get into any gyms in Japan because of tattoos. Even if I keep them hidden, I'm not allowed to go in any. And you know what? It's actually nice having a gym backyard because I pay for this gym once and that's the cost of one year gym membership in Japan. I've been here for three years. I got two free years at the gym. So that's what I'm gonna do. So, uh, so I'm actually doing a 5-3-1 program, trying to get a bit of strength, a little bit of size. I'm not trying to be the mountain. I just have a weight that I want to be able to squat. I'm looking to squat 150 kilograms. The most I've ever done is 130, but as some of you might know, I tore my tendon in my ankle uh, back in December or so. So I gotta take it easy. And now I'm just trying to work my way back up. No need to rush. There's no testosterone race here. I'm going at my own slow and safe pace. Today I'm only gonna do 100 kilograms. It's gonna be fine, nice and safe. Here's to 100 kilograms. Let's hope I can get up to 150 one day. Holy f This weighs more than I do. Do I bump this reverse ship? Do oh. Hey, my ankles are still all right. But after all them chocolate croissants in Barcelona, I'm a lot softer. <sighs> I used to be. Thank you for watching my TED talk. That's it for this workout. Oh. 99 through 1 million. Oh. Wow. 1 million dips. Couldn't have done this without you guys. Thanks for sending me all the cinnamon toast crunch. It helps. Okay. So that's it for my little section. On working out, I usually work out for 40 minutes or so, four times a week. Please don't refer to me for weightlifting advice. There are many professional coaches on YouTube. Uh, you could you could find a channel yourself. I gotta go. I'm gonna go die. Huh? Exercise. My exercise is so great. Ain't nobody to pass me. I'm, I'm just so fresh, so, so, so fresh and so, so clean. clean. After workout, after I cool down. Oh, you smell me? Smell me, girl. It smells so nice. That's right. Smell me all over. Anywhere you want. I smell great. Give me the back of your knee. Go for it. it smells a bit like an onsen. Are these onsen pants? Oh, shit. Oh, boy. This is like wash number two for Simon's pants and wash number uh, two for your hoodie. Jesus. Kogi even smelled bad and I he know. didn't even leave the room. I know. I know, buddy. Smell my face? I like your shirt as well. This Thanks. is from the This is from our Barcelona shop. place. Barcelona. Mm. Was it in the Rainbow Ladder support team? It was. Letter? Rainbow Ladder support team will know about this a little more. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> meow, 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 meow. Hello? Get that camera out of my face. I need more kibs. Mimers, how come I don't hear you chewing any of your food? You're just swallowing it. Hey, why'd you stand up like that? Oh no, kid bowl is empty. What am I gonna do? Da -da. Is there any kibs up there? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He's standing again. Thank you, boy. Here you go, little homie. All right, so when I said the curry was gonna be between six and eight hours, uh, it's 7 p.m. now, and I think I made that curry at around 11 a.m. And I'm gonna finish up the curry, I'm gonna thicken up the sauce. It's been eight hours. Yeah, girl. I've done nothing. Girl, you've done a lot. What do you mean? Like, today's an active recovery day for you. That's okay, girl. You need to recover on days like this. Yesterday we had a big day, and today if you push yourself or if you did a lot, you'd be really injured for a following week. We gotta exercise, take a break, exercise, take a break, just like me. 
And so do you. You know nothing to be upset about. We're about to have some really good curry and then we're gonna watch some Star Trek Discovery. That's pretty good to me, I'd say. You can't help but feel better with a warm kitty on you, huh? It's the little things that count. Yeah. Definitely feel better. Oh yeah. There you go, huh? Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Little things that make you feel better. What do you want next? You want a puppy? Let me go get a puppy. Mirrors is like, no, that'll make me feel worse. It's really silly like this. And now... Look, okay? Yeah, I can explain. I just got a glimpse of myself. You just... I just got a glimpse of myself. <laughs> We're just... Just for a bit. That's all we need to do, all girl. Right. Please, just... Alright. Alright, not stripping. Don't worry, everyone. These are heat tech leggings. Okay? You know what? I'll be a big girl and go out there with no pants on. Yeah. And if I keep this zipped, nobody... <laughs> this is like my neon jacket shame that always happens. Why do I always end up, end up on camera like this? I look really nice most of the time, I swear. <laughs> I swear. I try so hard. Now let's go to the community store so I can eat m <laughs> 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 I have to lose weight. <sighs> hey, look at you getting out of the house. It's really windy and cold. Heads up. You're doing a great job, girl. Thanks, Ducky. Look at you getting out. We're going out together. Just a little bit, you know? Just, just for a bit. I believe in you. Let's not hit that car coming up at us. This is I think we gotta get some Hello Kitty Mon. Um Do you want Hello Kitty Mon? That's what I'm getting. Of course I do. Hello Kitty Mon. Oh yeah. Living large Saturday night. It's Saturday night. Heading to the Condies. We're going to the Condies. I got myself. A Hello yes, Kitty! Crazy timing. A Hello Kitty Mon, you ready for this? Ready for this? Check this out. Saturday night. Damn! There's Hello Kitty. Whoa! That's an apple custard pie in the middle. What? Oh, damn, this is good. This is exactly what I thought Hello Kitty would taste like. Can you save some of Hello Kitty for me? Mama! 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 You joining the jogging groups? I can tell you're the unfit one. It's true, who likes to jog? It's stupid. <laughs> Why didn't we get two? This tastes like the inside of a McDonald's apple pie. Yeah. It's been scooped out and mixed with Japanese vanilla cream. Oh. That's really good stuff. Wow. All right, now I bought this for myself. You got yourself a bottle of wine. Hmm. What's this about, huh? So in Final Fantasy, bra bra is another word for Tifa from Final Fantasy 7 because she had ridiculous breast no, physics. No, that can't be true. It's all about Tifa's boobs, the left one and the right one. I don't believe you. It's a masterpiece of mammograms. No, I don't believe you. Oh, wow, Ducky, this is absolutely great looking. Let's see what she got, girl. Uh, I'll tell you what I got. Tired. No strength to hold that bowl up, Ducky. Well, I'll do it for you, love. You want a carrot? Yeah. Watch out for your hands, girl. There you go. 
Okay. All right, that's enough. Wow, this beef is really tender, Ducky. Creamy, delicious. I mean, you just throw it in the pot and mm -hmm. set it and forget it. Since today is a Saturday night, you know that we have crazy plans. Yo! So I say that we finish eating beef and then everyone can prepare themselves for what we're about to do tonight. You ready okay? for a crazy night, right. everyone? Whoa, whoa! We got myself a glass of wine, we got ourselves some snacks. We're gonna watch Jeopardy. Not just any Jeopardy. This is like the championship of champ. They got teams what? and everything. I've never Ken heard of it. Jennings Team is back. Kobe. I am super ready for Brad this. Brad is on it. I'm rooting for you, Colby. I don't know how they upload it to YouTube without any copyright strikes happening because, whoa, we just watched it on YouTube. It's blocked. It's, it's blocked. It's like blocked we don't got it on Netflix here. What? Oh my god, and quick things you should know. The Umbrella Academy on Netflix is so good. Um, Coffee Prince Korea is now available in different subtitles. Yep. And you're loving The Punisher. Punisher's great. Those are the things that we're liking on Netflix right yes. now. <gasps> no. After and Star this, Trek. Star we're Trek Discovery. Discovery. No, we're watching Star Trek Discovery right now. No, we gotta finish this first. Okay, finish that first and then Star Trek and Discovery. And then Discovery. The night is still young. Let us know in the comment <laughs> section below what you do on your Friday and Saturday night and if it's up to par with all of that. I hope you don't watch our adventures and think, oh my god, they travel all the time and I... You know, most of our days are like this. We cook, we clean, we work out, and we edit, and we do some stuff. It's it's not super riveting. Yeah. Okay, bye everyone. Good night. This is the Jeopardy World Champion. If 36 minutes wasn't enough for you, we've got some bonus footage from this ginormous day in our life video. You can also check out this video from 2011. That's right, it's a day in a life video of when we were still living in Gucheon, South Korea. It was also our 200th video.